Hey you guys, Linwood here and today I'm going to show you how to do the latch knot. So toss that collar up and throw that tie on and we are about to get started. But before we do, there are a few things that you should know. First of all, this image has been flipped for your viewing pleasure. So when I say right, it's also your right. And when I say left, it's also your left. By the way, if you haven't seen my last tie video, you can do so by clicking the eye in the top right corner. Um, also for this tie, you will need a fastener ring like this one here. I will throw a link in the description box below. Let's see if it'll zoom on uh, the description box below uh, in case you wanted to find one I got this one from Hobby Lobby but they do sell some comparable ones on Amazon so I'll go ahead and link those down there if I can find them all right so we're gonna start off I've got my blade which is the large end on the right side my tail which is a small end on the left side we're going to begin by placing my finger in the middle of the blade and pinching from the two outside corners on in this will create our dimple otherwise known as our power crease. So again, placing that finger in the middle and just pinching from the outsides like so. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it to the middle and bring the tail end, which is a thin end, over the top, around the back, and over from the front, down through the center, just like so. All right, so now at this point we have our dimple here. We have our first round and our second round there. I'm going to go ahead and place our ring right in the center and just allow the tie to hold it in place. So placing the ring in the center and bringing the tail from the right side over to the left side and it will just hold that in place like so. Okay, once we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and take the tip of the tail, slide it directly through this loop, and pull. We don't wanna move that loop all the way out of uh, this little section or pocket that we created, so just hold on to it for a minute. All right, from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and push that up. We want to expose on the underneath side. Let me move that up so you guys can see. We're gonna pull it up and expose the underneath side of the ring. So from there, I'm gonna take the tip of the tail and insert through the underneath side of that ring, just like so. You go ahead and put it through here so you can see. Pulling that baby right on down. And you're just gonna loosely hold it there. Now you see how it wants to dimple up just a little bit, so I'm just gonna place my finger right there in the center. And we're going to basically create another power crease right there. Now the thing I like about it is it will fit, if you get it just right, right inside of the other one, just behind it. And it just makes it a little bit more visually interesting in my opinion. Now I do have this on with a vest because it is a little bit shorter on the tail end than normal. It comes to about my belly button, whereas the uh, tip of the blade comes to just above my belt line. From there, I'm gonna take it and toss it in my vest so you don't see the differentiation I was just speaking about. And then we'll pull this collar down like so, moving that baby on up. Now the thing I like about this knot is it does remind me of my reverse Taurus knot, which if you haven't seen that, check it out. And um, I do rather like that knot. But of course, as always, let me know what you guys think in the comment box below. And until next time, you guys, take care and God bless. And as always, you are fancy now. Bye-bye.